Hi, I'm Dr. Deborah Garrison with Jake, and we have some important information we'd like to share with you. Tornadoes, floods, fires, hurricanes, blizzards, many natural disasters can disrupt our lives. And getting out of harm's way oftentimes means evacuating with our family pets. In a natural or man-made disaster, you could be told to leave your home on very short notice. If you do not take your animals with you, an evacuation could mean another disaster back home with your pets. First, develop an evacuation plan. For pets, this may mean putting the small animals in a travel carrier and in the car. For farm animals, you should have an appropriate trailer handy and know where you can take each animal to be away from the danger. In case you are not at home at the time of a disaster, a sign on the front and back of your home or barn will let your neighbors know you have pets and your contact information. Be sure all of your animals have a rabies and ID tags on their collars. Microchipping is an important form of animal identification. An ID tag on a halter works well for large animals. Have an evacuation kit ready to go. It should contain leashes, food, bottled water, paper towels, trash bags, gloves, a first aid kit, health records, and a list of contact phone numbers. If an evacuation order is issued, get the family and the pets into the car and leave as soon as you can. Let your friends know where you're going. When you return, keep your pets inside until you can make sure the outside is safe. Let pets eat and drink a little slowly and get back to their normal routine. Taking your pets with you in an emergency is smart and with a little pre-planning can relieve some stress of a very difficult time. As we've seen in many widespread disasters, people will not evacuate without their pets. So have your pets be a part of the evacuation plan. I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys reporting.